What's up y'all, it's Jay. Back doing another quick little shipping video. I um, guess it's pretty much a rehash of the book burrito video I did. But, specifically focused on comic books. And the reason I chose to do basically the same video all over again but with, with the focus of comic books is because of the, the shipping issues I've always had with comic books. Uh, not me personally, but maybe uh, receiving them in the mail. I haven't ordered comics a single time through the mail that it didn't come in a, in a shitty package where it came to me banged up or a corner crushed or something you know what I mean and uh really aggravating so I wish people would get it together as far as the shipping shipping comics thing it's you know I don't see how people make so many sales out there and they're sending comics the way I've received them but uh and also another thing that kind of sparked this is recently I had a customer that uh they left me a review, but they left a neutral review. It was kind of it was kind of funny. They said that the comic came exactly as described, and came uh, kind of quick in the shipping. Came uh, you know quicker than their expected delivery date. But uh, the reason they left a neutral review is because they thought they had the authority to determine how a comic should be shipped. So it's I, I don't get it. There's like. Uh, you received the, the comic exactly how you wanted it. But you have the nerve to say, Oh, you can't ship a package like that. You can't ship a comic like that. That's not how you do that. So they left me a neutral review. Kind of stupid. Because I, I ship the securest, safest way that you can ship any book or any flat item. But especially a comic book. First thing with a comic book. Uh, shipping a comic book. Book burrito method. Uh, is you want to do a bag and board if your comics are not already bagged and boarded just go ahead and bag and board your comic um, if you're going to be selling some comics more than one or two comics even go ahead and get some bags and boards and just bag and board every comic you have but other than that it's going to be the exact same way if you watch my other book burrito video or book shipping video very simple even though it's in a bag, we're covering it with a plastic film or paper or something similar. Something to create a barrier between the product and the tape. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to tape it to this corrugated cardboard roll here. And you don't want to do that directly on the comic bag. Because to me, uh, I advertise my products that come with a comic bag and I don't want that product to be destroyed. Yeah, you know, even if it's just a plastic covering to the book. So. Piece of tape. Start it like that. Wrap it about halfway around the comic. Put a piece of tape to hold it in place. Roll it once. Roll it twice all the way around. And you can see right there where the second layer starts. You don't want to go past that. You only need two layers. Now this is how to ship a single comic. Um, I've done another video about how to ship a stack of comics. And that's this right here. Use that in some kind of a uh, mailer like this. Stack them together. Tape them inside the box. Roll up. Tape. I got a video that you know walks you through that. But it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. As far as shipping a single comic, um, always bag and board it. Get you the uh, 12 inch by uh, 250 feet corrugated roll. Tape your comic to a piece of the roll like this. This is your shipping label. Roll it up. You can see there where it's completely uh, two complete rolls. Very simple. Take it to get the seams.
seams taped. It's actually in a package now. And you're just going to seal up the uh, both sides and both ends. take forever to do this when I started but got the technique down now it's a little quicker and used to I'd use way too much tape this is metal this is minimal tape this is all the tape you need to sell the package you don't need to cover the package in tape you're just wasting your own money and being that you're reselling stuff you're trying to make money so I don't see why you'd waste a coat in a package and tape when it's not going to come undone. Just like that. And then of course you'll see there's little uncovered spots. If it's a big enough spot, you can just do this again. Over your fat strip of tape. And if it's a skinnier spot, you can just tear off a little piece like that. And cover it. A little piece of tape to cover my other little tiny spot there. And bam, that's how you ship a comic. I don't, I don't know why the customer before told me that this is not how you ship a comic just because he had never seen it before, I guess. And maybe it hurt his pride because he was also a comic book sell seller. And maybe this insulted him that I could ship a product much better than he could. But you're not going to do anything to this package to damage it. You really have to twist and tear really hard to damage this comic like that. And, uh, you know, comics kind of thin and flimsy. I'd always do the bag and board uh, with a comic or a magazine or a really thin paperback or anything similar like that. It's good to have a comic bo uh, comic board or a magazine board in there just to help with that rigidity. But as you can see, this corrugation supplies most of the rigidity you need. The main thing you have to worry about is the sides. But even then, you're not going to worry about that. I mean, that's not going to damage the comic. It'd take a tremendous amount of beating to, to damage that. So that's how you send, uh, send a comic book. That's how you uh, package a comic book to be sent. Really, in my opinion, the only way you should uh, package a comic book to be sent. Uh, like I said, they make these comic style mailers, but this is too much for a single for a single comic. I mean, it's just, it's just too much. It's you know, it's it can hold a small amount. You can see where it has a you know different bins for a different size package, but uh, this. I've, I've received comics in this pack kind of package dinged and damaged up and getting banged around and that's not going to happen with this. That's just all there is to it. It's not going to happen with that one. So, but this is probably the best way to ship a stack of comics. These little folding mailers. But yeah, uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching another video on uh, shipping for eBay, Amazon, any kind of other other similar servers. Uh, if this helps you hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, I appreciate it. We'll see y'all next time.